Hello, I'm Christopher Shalafu, International Application Engineer for Teledyne Dalsa. Today I'm going to show you our BOA vision system. The BOA is a fully integrated vision system in a compact smart camera format that has been specifically designed for industrial use. Packaged complete with embedded application software, BOA provides an easy-to-deploy automated inspection system for the factory floor. BOA vision systems are configured and monitored remotely using an Ethernet connection to a PC. An inspection can be quickly set up using a web browser portal into the resident Inspect Express application. The software interface includes a suite of vision tools and capabilities that satisfy a range of inspection needs, from positioning, identification, and measuring, to verification and flaw detection. To set up and configure a BOA system, you need the BOA, a lens, a breakout module, cables, and a Windows PC running Microsoft Internet Explorer 6 or higher. BOA is compatible with host computers running the Windows XP or Windows 7 operating system. The PL100 breakout module provides a safe and convenient way to interface to a BOA. It provides an isolation layer between the factory and the camera, as well as supplying power to the camera. On the back of the BOA, the LAN connection both receives power and provides the primary interface with the client PC. The I.O. power connection provides digital input and output. The LAN connection can be used to power and strobe an LED light source. Connect the RJ45 end of the Ethernet cable to the RJ45 connector on the breakout module labeled CAM LAN. Connect the M12-8 male end of the Ethernet cable to the M12-8 female connector on the camera labeled LAN. Connect the RJ45 connector labeled LAN to your network. Connect the open-ended wires of the I.O. power cable to their respective connections on the breakout module. Connect the M12-8 male end of the I.O. power cable to the M12-8 female connector on the camera labeled I.O. power. The BOA is delivered with the embedded Inspect Express application. The BOA's home page shows the state of the camera and provides controls for language selection, IP address setup, and firmware upgrade. All BOAs are factory configured with an IP address of 192.168.0.100. Click on the Inspect Express menu item to launch the application. Inspect Express walks you through the steps necessary to create a new solution. The first thing you must do is set up the sensor. You can set the exposure, adjust the brightness and contrast, Enable a strobe and set its duration and offset from the trigger and select the trigger source. Most machine vision applications use a sensor that detects when a new part is in front of the camera and sends a signal to the BOA to trigger acquisition. In that case, you would set the trigger source to inspection trigger. For this demonstration, I'll set the trigger source to internal timer to acquire an image every 100 milliseconds. After you've set up the sensor, click the OK button. You can now add tools to the image by clicking the Tools button. 
The Inspect Express provides over 20 tools to extract information from images. There are tools to measure distances, angles, circles and arcs, and the concentricity of two or more circles. There are tools to count edges and count objects. There is a tool to measure the average grayscale intensity of an area. There are tools to read linear and two-dimensional barcodes. There is a pattern matching tool and a tool to read characters. There are tools to measure the path of the edge of an object and a tool to measure a bead or two-sided path. I'll add just a couple of the tools to show, in general, how to create a solution. Let's say I want to count the number of LEDs on the back of this BOA. I'll select the count tool and draw a rectangular region of interest around the LEDs. After you add a tool to the solution, you right-click on its outline to set its operating parameters. By default, the count tool looks for bright objects on a dark background, which is what I want. If I wanted to find dark objects, I would click the dark button. The sensitivity slider lets you control how bright a bright object has to be or how dark a dark object has to be. I want to count only the large LEDs. To set limits on the size of objects, click the Advanced button. The three LEDs are all about 1100 pixels in area. Inspect has automatically set low and high area limits. I'm going to tighten this range a little and lock it in. This count tool found three objects, which is what I expect. At runtime, if the tool finds three objects, it will pass. If it finds fewer than three, or more than three objects, it will fail. You can change these values if doing so makes sense for your application, but for this application, they are correct. I also want to measure the center-to-center -center distances of the three connectors. I'll add a circular count tool to find the dark center hole of one connector. and enable the whole center point. I'll make two copies of this tool and move them to the other connectors. The distance tool measures point-to-point -point distances. Left click on one connector's center point to anchor the tool, drag the rubber band to another center point, and left click to anchor it. Right click on the tool's outline to set its perfect and low and high pass values. Initially, distances are returned in pixels. To convert pixels to real world units, click on the Change Scale button. I previously measured this distance with a precision caliper as 22.45 millimeters. Inspect will calculate the millimeters to pixels calibration. I'm going to apply this calibration to all distance measurements in the solution.
I'll add a second distance tool to measure the distance between the other two connectors centers. Notice that this distances perfect and low and high pass values are already in real world units. To verify that the connectors aren't damaged, I'll measure their circularity with a circle tool. Click on any three points along the edge of the circle you want to measure. Edges are highlighted as you move the mouse pointer across them. The default measurement returned by the circle tool is the circle's diameter. I don't really care about this, so I'm going to disable it and enable circularity instead. A perfect circle returns a value of 100. Since circles in the real world are rarely perfect, I will allow for some, but not a lot of, variation. When you add a circle tool, it has 10 spokes that find edge points from which to calculate the circle. You can increase the number of spokes for more accuracy. Because there is a notch in the connector, some of the spokes will find points on edges that are not on the circle. This will adversely affect the circularity calculation. I'm going to tell the tool to ignore 10% of the outlier points. I'll make two copies of this tool and move them to the other connectors. At runtime, if all of the tools pass, the entire solution passes. If one or more tools fail, the solution fails. It is not uncommon in machine vision applications for parts to move within the image from acquisition to acquisition. The tools we've added don't know that the part has moved, so they process the wrong pixels and fail. In this case, we need a scheme to move the tools automatically so that they process the correct pixels. In Inspect, this is done by creating a locator. If the part can shift only horizontally or vertically, a single point will suffice. If the part can shift and rotate, two points are necessary. One way to find the same point in every image is with the Match tool. When I add the Match tool to the image, it learns the pattern of pixels within the rectangle I draw. The blue box shows the trained pattern. The red box is the area within which the match tool will try to find the pattern at runtime. The match tool returns the center point of the found pattern. I'll use this as the position point for locator 1. This part will not rotate, so a rotation point isn't necessary. By default, all tools are associated with Locator 1. Now as the part moves, the Count, Distance, and Circle tools move relative to the pattern found by the Match tool. This was a very brief overview of Inspect Express on the BOA Smart Camera. There are many more tools and much more functionality than can be demonstrated in a short video. For more information, please visit our website, www.teledynedalsa.com. Thank you.